Take your hands out your pocket. Americans are dealing with a surge in murder, violence, and crime. There has been an increase in violent crime in major cities such as Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, Milwaukee, and Memphis. While big cities have struggled to keep the peace, some small towns have also seen violence. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the top 10 America's most dangerous small towns. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notifications bell to get updates whenever we post. We all know that big cities are filled to the rim with crime, but statistically, you have a better chance of being involved in an assault or worse in a small town. There's some amazing quiet small towns in the country, and then you have some that need to be started over. The FBI defines a violent crime as basically whacking someone, non-negligent manslaughter, robbery, and aggravated assault. We will be focusing on towns that really aren't in the middle of a metro area, sort of out by themselves. Top 10. Henderson, North Carolina Henderson has a serious problem in violent crime, and that's why it's on this list. At nearly 15 violent crimes per 1,000 residents, it makes Henderson one of the worst places in North Carolina to live. This community has some serious issues across the board, including an elderly woman that throws rocks at cars from her porch. She used to do it from the woods, but as she got older, she didn't hike into the woods. Now she just throws rocks from her porch and screams. Henderson has about 15,000 residents and about 28% of them live in poverty. That is always a factor in the crime rate of any place. Top 8. Columbus, New Mexico The small town of Columbus, New Mexico shares a border with Mexico. In recent years, Columbus has been a hotbed of organized crime, where an estimated 15% of the 2,000-person population may be involved in illegal activity, serious illegal activity and not counting like dudes and daisy dukes. We're talking about real crime like drug smuggling. Drug smugglers have made Columbus their home. The town's small police force is scandal-ridden and constantly in disarray, and disarray is being generous. In March, the mayor of Columbus, the town's police chief, and a village trustee were among several city officials indicted for trafficking firearms to Mexico. The violent crime rate is about 18 for every 1,000 residents. Top 8. Dillingham, Alaska In 1881, after the United States purchased Alaska, the United States Signal Corps built a weather station near where Dillingham is today. The Arctic Packing Company came in and built its first cannery, Bristol Bay Wright, in 1883. Operations began the following year with a pack of 400 cases of salmon. By 1903, there were a total of 10 canneries they built along the river, including four within the current city limits, and produced as much as 1 million cases of canned salmon. Most of these canneries were closed for a variety of reasons, including coastal erosion. One other thing, they apparently don't mind assaulting each other. They have just over 2,000 residents. Last year, 38 of them were assaulted in one way or another. 19 violent crimes per every 1,000 residents in Dillingham, Alaska. Top 7. Lumberton, North Carolina The city of Lumberton was created by an act of the North Carolina General Assembly in 1787. In Lumberton, 35.1% of the population is living below the poverty line, and they have had serious drug problems for years. Between April and June of 2017, three young women were murdered in the same area. Nobody has been arrested. The overall crime rate in Lumberton is 51% higher than the national average. There's 22 violent crimes for every 1,000 residents in Lumberton. Top 6. Donifon, Missouri Donifon is in between St. Louis and Memphis, almost the same distance with St. Louis to the north and Memphis to the south. Donifon got buildings being set on fire, and six idiots that are in their 50s assaulted some dude that assaulted one of their friends or something like that. They have 26 violent crimes for every 1,000 residents. Top 5. Osceola, Arkansas Osceola has more than enough violent crime to go around. Recently, they had a police officer and died after shooting two people during a traffic stop. It's just not safe in this town. They have 26.5 violent crimes for every 1,000 residents. In Osceola, it's like they're trying to catch up with Memphis or something like that. Top 4. Española, New Mexico 
It is believed that the town that began as Española was named by rail workers in the 1800s. About 10,000 people called this northern New Mexico town home, and they probably spent a lot of time locking doors and researching security systems. This town appears to have never left the most dangerous towns in New Mexico lists. Since they started making lists, they had 306 violent crimes in 2018 that gives them 30 violent crimes for every 1,000 residents. Top 3. Estill, South Carolina The town of Estill is located in the southern half of Hampton County. Estill was formed in 1901 and they needed a rail line between Augusta, Georgia and Savannah, Georgia. Upon the construction of the rail line, the new town was incorporated in 1905. People appear to be getting shot every single weekend in this town. These people are big into hurting each other, not all of them obviously, but they have a good amount of idiots here. You know in the south, you're always going to have a large majority of a town. They're good people, they're good family people, they're good to each other, but for some reason, these towns always have these idiots in there that just make the whole place look bad. They have 34 violent crimes per every thousand residents in Estill. Top 2. Aniston, Alabama If you're looking for an all-star suckage, look no further than Aniston, Alabama. They appear on all these negative lists about small towns. They know what they're doing and they're motivated. It's like they're on a mission or something. Their violent crime rate is outstanding. 37 violent crimes for every 1,000 residents. And lastly, top 1. Kotzebue, Alaska Kotzebue lies on a gravel spit at the end of the Baldwin Peninsula in Kotzebue Sound. Kotzebue served as a trading and gathering center for various communities in that region. It's not a bay with like three rivers flowing into it, so it made easier for the inland residents to make it to town. Hence, it became a trading center. There's no valid reason to live here other than a court order to wear an ankle bracelet. So these are the things that you can do if you visit Kotzebue, Alaska, and this is on websites and travel sites that they have. There's a cultural arts center. Okay, that could be interesting. Fishing. They have a hot spring and a nature preserve. Both great. And then you can finish up your stay with a visit to the Indigenous People Cemetery. In the center of town, this large cemetery contains many decorative spirit houses that have been built over many of the graves here. You know, nothing's more satisfying than after a long day of not working and then sitting on your porch having a drink, chewing on some whale blubber and watching tourists stomp all over the graves of your relatives. Hmm, sounds like a good time when these people aren't trying to turn a dime on the back of their dearly departed. Apparently, they commit violent acts against each other, and not all of this can be attributed to drinking. Kotzebue, Alaska is a damp community. This means you could bring in Kotzebue alcoholic beverages for consumption. If it's improperly labeled containers and it's within your monthly limit, it's a felony offense to manufacture, sell, possess, or barter alcoholic beverages. Anyway, the seer they projected to have 121 violent crimes. The city barely has 3,000 people. That's about 40 for every 1,000 people in the city. All right, so that is our top 10 most violent towns in the United States. Whether your metro area made our list or not, we encourage everyone to be proactive about protecting your home and family. One of the best ways to stop a burglary before it happens is to add a home security system. Do you find your hometown dangerous too? Let's know your thoughts on these top 10 most violent small towns in America in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.